The greatest boxer in Philippines history takes the stage again this weekend, this time against an undefeated Floridian Keith Thurman in a clash for the WBA super welterweight belt. These two fighters will enter the ring at two very different eras in their careers. Manny Pacquiao is 10 years Thurman's senior at 40 years of age to Thurman's 30. But the counter is, Thurman has only had one fight in the last two plus years. A fight seems to be the last hurrah for the Filipino king and a chance for Thurman to capitalize on what many thought was Pac-Man's slow decline. Though Pacquiao has put together some powerful wins in his last two bouts to bring him back to the top with a TKO of Lucas Matisse and a unanimous decision over the long-standing Adrian Broner. This cements his current relevancy and only furthers his considerable legacy. Thurman, on the other hand, has been on a tear and as mentioned, undefeated. His last three fights are a majority decision over Josito Lopez, a split decision win over Danny Garcia, and unanimous decision over Sean Porter. So statistically, how do these guys stack up? For SBN MMA, I'm Shaquille Majuri, and we will take a look at some statistics in regards to their last five fights each, so it should paint a decent overall picture for them and also how they look right now. Pac-Man's fights going back five are Timothy Bradley, April of 2016, which was a unanimous decision. Jesse Vargas, November of that same year with another unanimous decision win. Then in July of 2017, we had the very controversial loss to Jeff Horn. Then the rebound win against the Argentinian Lucas Matisse with a seven round TKO followed up by another unanimous decision over Adrian Broner. At the current time, Pacquiao's opponents have a combined total of 175 pro matches with 153 wins. That is an 87% winning rate, with 14 losses, 97 wins by KO, 5 draws, and 3 no contests. Pacquiao is Timothy Bradley and Jesse Vargas' second loss on both accounts. Now Thurman's are quite a bit different. His rivals have a total of 205 matches with 170 wins, which is an 85% winning rate. These opponents have a total of 25 losses, which is almost double of packs. The exact amount of KO wins at 97 with 2 draws and 3 no contests. On top of this, we have to mention Thurman over his last 5 fights has fought men on average 1.8 years older than Pacquiao at 34 which is a little odd considering their own age difference, Pacquiao's average aged opponent being 32.2. These stats mixed with Thurman's inactivity could give some hints into how this fight may go. Will we continue to see the quick resurgence of Manny Pacquiao or could this be just too young of a dynamic guy for the King of the Philippines? Who do you think wins this match? Let us know in the comments section. As always, please like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell for more combat goodness just like this. Thank you.